We don't know who's going to win that match, but there's an other epic contest on the go here at the Crucible this week, and it's between the players and the pundits. Now, we have the first instalments of our Snooker Loopy pub quiz. Oh, yes, it gets no bigger than that. And it's this time between two teams, the DJs, that's the Dennis and Johns, against the good, the bad and the ugly. And I'm not going to make any comment about who's who. Uh, but testing their encyclopedic knowledge, this is the first instalment. Let battle commence. Are we ready to start this book? So Sorry, like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Those quizzes like you play snooker. Who does he think is going to win? Well, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you now. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Right. I'm going to give you the player. I'm going to give you the year. You're going to tell me who they were playing against. Oh. <laughs> Ted up. The year is 1983. The player is Cliff Thelburn. Who did he get yeah. a 147 against? Yeah. Cover your answers, please. John Cover your answers. Spencer. John Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ray. It was brilliant. It was Terry Griffiths. It was. I think it is. I'm in the final now, you know. <laughs> Quickest Ray we ever played, Terry. Number two. <laughs> I can see that. Oh. The year was 1992. Ooh. The player was Jimmy White. Name oh. the small snooker player who we got the 147 mm -hmm. against. Grandma. Is this all question one or is it next to the. Oh, that's question two. Sorry, well, that's oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 what I found a friend. John, don't get technical, please. Tony Drago. He's not easy for me. That was always up for me. The year is 2008. The player is Ali Carter. Who was he playing against? Keep your answers low. By the way, Mr. Parrot, you can let the other two people help you. You're a goof! We've got one. No, we've got a dark horse in our team there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Can I go Peter Ed... Come on! Go on! The year is 2005. The player is Mark Williams. If anybody gets this right, I may well flip-flack hmm? through the streets of Sheffield. He was playing against, I thought nobody would get this one. Robert Milkins. Yes. 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 Ronnie O'Sullivan has done three 147 breaks mm. against which opponents? Which three opponents? Yeah. yeah. Which opponents? Which three opponents? Oh. He's done three 147 yeah. breaks um. against which opponents? Mick Price. Correct. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Marco Fu. Correct. Correct. And Mark Williams. Who got all three? Not us. Mark Williams oh, has had two 147s. In tracksuit bombs. Right? In tracksuit bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and no socks. <laughs> no, you don't want more than that tracksuit bomb. <laughs> what is peculiar? What is peculiar he about his second 147? What was different about his opponent for one of those 147s? How this is going to take some editing in this one, I apologize. <laughs> It was against Diane Shuler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a woman. Yeah. She was a, a real life woman. Who is the youngest player ever to make a televised 147? It happened in 2007. The youngest player to make a televised 147. And it happened in 2007. Oh, God. You'll get a point for that. Yeah, I can. Are yeah. you feeling confident? Well, you get a point for it. Any chance of a point for it? Well, I, yeah, to be honest with you. How old was he? He was 19. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, what? We couldn't spell his name. Did you put down four letters? Ding. 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 Oh, televised. He must Ding. have been. There we go. What about that Thai kid? What the Thai kid? Yeah, the yeah it wasn't on TV, yeah. was it? It wasn't on TV. Oh, oh, sure. What a liberty. That's <laughs> yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, bad luck. Only two players have made maximums in finals of tournaments. I'll put up these mates. Who are they? Only two players have made maximums in finals of tournaments. One person's done it three times, and one person did it in 2003. Give me the two players. Stephen Hendry, one, John Higgins. Never got that. 
Didn't get that. No. We didn't get ego. Back in 1982, when some of the people sat here and myself were vaguely fashionable. <laughs> vaguely. I should know this one. Yes. Just to let you know. Who made their first televised 147 in the 1982 Larder Classic. Me. Apparently. <laughs> oh, oops. Yeah, I'm sorry. You got a Larder. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a fringe then. <laughs> yeah, we all, yeah, oh, and I... we had a fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Can you spell Davis properly? No E. <laughs> I do believe it was in full colour, a uh, lot red on the screen at the time. <laughs> <laughs> That was... To prove it. <laughs> no guitar. <laughs> no guitar. <laughs> that was Mr. Steve Davis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done, well done. Yeah. Did, he ever add, did he ever amount to anything, that lad? Who should have made the first televised 147, yep. but Thames television cameramen were on their break and didn't film it? Oh, well, yeah. oh, that was, oh, that was, that was, that was very unlucky. Back in 1979, it was John Spencer. Spencer. Oh, yeah. One year being crossed. It's like that everything go. When he went to the adverts. The camera was there and yeah, they switched no, it off. No, All no, they had to no, do was leave the no, switch no. on. The irony was, of course, that he had to sit through me making the first ever one on television. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> that that would have been a fantastic pub question, that would have been. It would have been, <laughs> really good. Yeah. Somebody had really yeah. done their homework. <laughs> a bonus oh, question. Bruce Bruce yes. Bruce. Try this. Put this on the put this <laughs> Which Which snooker player? Sounds like he could have been an origami champion. Which snooker player, who you will have played against, sounds like he could have been an origami champion? Alain Rabadou. No. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Origami Write it down. A, a snooker player that you will have played against. <laughs> Sounds like he's an origami well, champion. What about if you've got another one that you haven't played against that you know full well is one? In that case, we will bend the rules somewhat. It's got uh, to be. It had to be. Neil Fall. Neil Fall. Oh, yes. no. Come on. What did right. Steve say? Fall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fall. Yeah, yeah. oh, 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 oh. It wasn't him. It is tight after one round. Oh, You're not no. accepting Valvari. I'm not. Why not? Because I'm a nasty piece of work. <laughs> uh, number on 11, we have got the DJs. Oh, no, we're second already. Yeah. It's not good. But on 12. Oh! oh. <laughs> At the end of round one, folks, on 12, we've got the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back for round two. <laughs> what a rammy, and I am assured it was only soft drinks that we were being taken as well. Some gross behaviour from Mr Davis at one point as well. It gets worse, <laughs> honestly. Should have seen what time we must have been all raving alcoholics in the pub at half past ten in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> MC Big Ian will have more of that tomorrow, but you can hardly wait.